Hi everyone, Dan here. Welcome to another Seesaw tutorial. Um, if you're on social media, make sure you're following me on Instagram and Twitter at PonderingDan. Uh, you can also check out my blog at PonderingDan.com. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about how we can look at the activities that our students have completed um, from the ones that we've assigned them and also how we can check uh, the skills uh, that uh, we've assessed them with. Now, if you've watched some of my other videos, you will have already been able to uh, set up a skill and set up an activity. Uh, so this is just looking at it from the next steps. So we're going to start off today by going into, we've got our student journal view and we're going to go into our activities. And from in here, you can see all the activities that you've assigned your students. So you'll see here, I've um, assigned something to my students previously. It was a planning uh, template that I wanted them to go through. Um, and I wanted to see now um, how many kids have completed it. Um, and then I can start assigning a skill to that. So you can see here straight away that I've had three responses. I've got no other students waiting for me to approve their work and there's no students that have res haven't responded. So if we click on this gray line here, we can actually go into the next view. Um, brings up the same sort of screen, but this time we've got a preview of the student's work down the bottom. Okay, so ordinarily, if a student hasn't completed the work, um, it would just be a grayed out box here with their name underneath it. So I'm lucky here, all my example students have completed their work. Um, now I want to go in though and I want to actually assign um, a skill to this work so that I can actually have a, have a look at my skills view um, and get a, a rough idea of how my class did in this particular task. So if I press on the picture, I've got my first example student here and I'm looking at their work. Um, I've got an option to like it. I can leave a comment if I like for some teacher feedback. Um, I can add a comment that is purely just for my own view here um, using the T speech bubble. Um, but this is the one I want to go to here, it's the, it's the graduation cap. So if I press on that, that actually brings up the skills. So I've already got this particular skill tag to them. Um, and I can assign uh, a one of four star rating. Now, if I can't remember what's, what, what constituted each of those scores, I can actually press the little I here and I can check um, my... Um, description and my criteria. So here I'm only doing this out of three stars so it's not out of four so that's good for me to know. So I've assigned this student a three star work because I think they've done pretty good with this particular task. So I go through that with each of the students um, and once I'm finished doing that I can head over to the skills tab here and this is where I can actually break down what each child has done. So I can see here all right, example student one, I've given them three stars. That's my green one. Example two, they received two stars. Um, example three, I haven't marked that yet, so I need to go back now into my activities and find that student's work. Uh, so it's a really good snapshot of what's happening. Um, I think this is pretty detailed. Um, so I'm going to give it a three star as well. So I'm just going to select that and press the check up the top. And we close that off and I can go back into my skills view and just check that again. Um, obviously, as you go through the year, you're going to add lots more skills and they'll all appear here. Um, and one thing that I really like about that is you can export this data. So you can take that and print it as an Excel file if you need to. Um, you can even just search by the categories that you want. In this one in particular, though, I've only got the one category. Um, but if I only want to look at the, at the um the skills of one particular student, I can ch check all that, or I can select the skills that I want to see on this view as well. So thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you get something out of it. Um, if you'd like to know when other useful videos are up on my channel, just make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. So thanks for watching.